All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and get on to 20 ISOs number two, which is this delightful shape. Again, we're going to be working in inches and we're going to be working in Inventor in order to get more familiar with it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start out by creating a new document. File, new, and we're just going to make a standard IPT, which is an Inventor part file. We're going to create a new sketch. And this base sketch is going to be our primitive shape. It's going to encompass the whole thing before we subtract out for that channel. So that size, according to my measurements, will be a whopping uh, six. Oh, wait a minute. Let me rotate this thing around so it makes a little bit more sense for us. There we go. All right, now it is going to be eight by six, enter. Now I'm just going to hit E because it's just that basic primitive rectangle. And now I'm going to extrude that to a primitive rectangular prism. Yay. All right, now I need to go ahead and I need to make my channel for that little cutout. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my line tool. And I'm just gonna grab a couple of lines here, okay? And another line somewhere along there-ish. I don't know where yet. All right. Now, I want to go ahead and I want to dimension those on over. So I want this to be three inches from there to there. Three. And then I want from here to here to be three inches as well to there, three. Now, I want this side from here to there to be two inches. Now, I want it to be from here to that point, I want that to be one inch. So I got this crazy shape going on here. Now, I can try and make a coincidence constraint between that point and that line. Hey, it worked, cool. Now I can go ahead and try it with this point and this line. Oh, over constrained. Well then. Show our degrees of freedom. Delete that. Or what I can do is just come over here, create that line to that point to that point, and then delete this line. Now it's gone. Just to make sure our dimensions are still good here to there. Yep, still looks good. Cool. Now, uh, I also need to go ahead and project my geometry. So I need to make sure that edge is good, and I need to make sure this edge is good, and I need to make sure that edge is good, and include it in our sketch. I'm going to hit E, click that, and obviously it moves. So now I just want to make sure that we are cutting and only going two inches deep. And then, looks like it. Now, there are cleaner ways that you can go ahead and get this line to be where it's supposed to be but for the sake of time and not focusing on eliminating and tracking down constraints in this video i just went ahead and made that other line so hopefully this helped you out have a great day